Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Welcome to the Video Game Fight School channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. So there's been talk, or there's still talk going on right now that there's a potential for an Arkham Knight remaster to happen. And I'm sure that this brings up a lot of questions for an Arkham Origins remaster as well. Arkham Origins is a beloved game for many of the Arkham or Batman game fans. I know it's one of my favorite games. It's really hard for me to choose a favorite because I really do like Origins, Arkham City, and Arkham Knight all for very different purposes and i like all those things so well it's hard to pick a you know a top choice so i usually bundle them in there as like my three favorites uh, or whatever it is and just kind of just go with that now i can understand that right now if this remaster is a thing then it makes sense for rocksteady and i'll explain their suicide squad game kill the justice league is supposedly set in the arkhamverse so a remaster to the Arkham Knight game seems to me like a step that they're going to be taking to pull an Insomniac style deal where Insomniac made a remaster to Spider-Man. I made this comment or actually discussed this at a little bit more length in my last video. Now here's the conundrum for Arkham Origins and why I fear, and this is just my fear, that it might likely not be getting a remaster is because Arkham Origins was a project that was set up in a way to support Rocksteady's already established universe. And so what Warner Brothers Games Montreal did that time under the people who were in charge of the studio because studio heads and a lot of the people that were leading the Arkham Origins uh, you know bandwagon have left the studio was they were able to get a lot of help from Rocksteady in terms of assets files and restructure the game but at least create a story that would work as a prequel to what Rocksteady was already doing so Arkham Origins fits into all of the Arkham narratives. The only thing is it wasn't developed by the development you know, team that finished doing Arkham Asylum, Arkham City and Arkham Knight. And so that's going to be a challenge for Warner Brothers Games Montreal, who right now are already working on their own Batman universe using, you know, AKA the Gotham Knights, uh, you know, verse or whatever we want to call it. And that's going to be, a, you know, in my opinion, quite a challenge, because just imagine if you bought a bond, a bundle with, uh, you know, two games from Warner Brothers Games Montreal. And in that bundle, they so they sold you Arkham Origins and then they sold you whatever Gotham Knights was. I don't know if that's something that they really want to do now. You never know, though. They may go ahead and do it because even though it may be a different universe, it is still one of their flagship games that they've made. They're very proud of making Arkham Origins. It's a game that they had to make under very interesting circumstances and they were able to ship that game under a short period of time it's a very solid game I think that's something that you know we really need to commend them about I'm not making a joke or making light of Arkham Origins God forbid it's one of my favorite games and so that's definitely something that has to be you know taken a close look at and so right now I don't know I think if anything the fans would agree and this is a hard pill to swallow for me I don't know about you that it will be better if Warner Brothers Games Montreal I will focus on this Gotham Knights game and then whatever energies or whatever extra development or whatever resources they have, that those resources be put towards that potential Superman game that we've been hearing rumors about them working on. Don't you think that's the case? I mean, would you not want a Superman game over a remaster of Arkham Origins if that was the choice you had to make? Now, granted, I would love for both of them. I'd love for them to give the Arkham Origins remaster and also throw down with the you know Superman game as well. But what if we could only choose one parameter? What if we could only choose between a possible Superman game or a possible Arkham Origins game? I think the winner for most of us would be that they work on that Superman game. Arkham Origins really does have a high performance version on PC. It's a version that is kind of clunky I, in a sense. I, I know because I play it extensively and I do like it. But, you know, again, it is a game that is a relic of the time it was built. And it doesn't necessarily, in my opinion, serve a lot of purpose. Now, let me end this video by saying something in Gotham Knights really must catch our attention. They mentioned that Robin borrowed the Justice League teleport, whatever, whatever, for him to have his teleportation abilities so he can teleport by using equipment that he borrows from the Justice League. Who knows? Maybe Warner Brothers Games Montreal may be building their Gotham universe 
in order to accommodate a Superman that is coherent with that universe and want to actually create something that's actually unique and potentially a, you know, an Arkham Origins game may not fit into it. It's sad in a weird sense, but also exciting that there is that possibility. And who knows, that might be the possibility that we actually do need here in the DC games community. So we have parallel universes where in the side of Rocksteady, you're actually fighting with the Suicide Squad against some Superman that's actually been warped in terms of his mind, maybe even potentially a Batman, a Flash, and the Justice League already warped. And then in the Gotham Knights universe, you're actually playing as these same heroes, but probably, you know, in a sense where you're now playing them as the good guys fighting against a diverse range of enemies. Man, if they follow this route, it's going to be mind blowing. But that's pretty much it for my video. I want to hear your thoughts in the comment section. Talk to me. Do you want both? Do you think both should happen? Or do you think resources should be channeled to actually reach out and prioritize for things that, you know, I think have been a very uh, deep cry of the community in terms of a Superman game coming after Gotham Knights. Thanks for watching the video. Peace out.